Watch TV Double R. Sawakas, a brand spanking new update sa lineup ng sport bike ni Watch. Alam ko matagal na panahon ang hinintay natin para sa ating current 300 double R sa Pinas. Yup, up until now fresh na fresh pa rin siya sa market natin. But, ang totoo niyan matagal nang na-release ang model na yan. And for today's standards, medyo outdated na to at napag-iiwan na, na talaga in terms of its components. But the good news is with the 19 China International Motor Expo is finally pinakita na ng Vodge ang kanilang self-proclaimed most powerful bikes in China. Oh. Ang claim na yun ay hindi lang para sa 250 double R. It also applies sa iba pang kasama nito sa launch. Like their newest category, the 350 AC Modern Retro. And they also get a new scooter, the LX 350T. And a major update in the 500cc, the new 525R Street Naked. But for today's video, we will be mainly focusing on the new sport bike. Kasi naniniwala kung posible itong pumasok sa Pelepen market. And that probably will go the same with the new 525R and those two other models. So, tara na and let's take a closer look on our featured bike of the day. As you can see my dudes, nagkaroon siya ng major makeover. From this to now, this. Unlike sa mga usual refresh unit, ang 250 double R ni Vodge ay bago lahat ang fairings. Ang redesign na ito ay hindi lang para magkaroon ng bagong updated looks, but para na din magkaroon ng further enhancements sa aerodynamic performance and as well as better components. Sa tingin ko ay nagawa naman nila ng sapat, which they did an awesome job without compromising the overall cost ng motor. In terms of design, hindi na siguro natin maiiwasan na ikumpara ang design sa ibang motor. Nandiyan na kasi yung mentality natin na kapag China bike, ay siguradong may pinagkuha ng design yan. Well, ganito kasi yan, my dude. Sa China kasi walang pake ang gobyerno nila kung mamimirata ka ng mismong carbon copy ng design. As long as sa bansa lang nila iikot ang unit. And that's another story kung ibibenta nila sa labas. Kaya naman hindi ko kayo masisisi but let's agree to disagree na lang. Pero sa tingin ko original design nila ito. At kagaya ng CF Moto and Lonsin or Vogue ay meron silang taga conceptualize ng kanilang design. It just happens na pareho lang ang color combination nila sa Kawasaki. And also parallel din ang pagka-design ng front end niya. With the daytime rolling light and turn indicator integration niya sa CF Moto 300 SR. And lastly, the tail section na hawig naman sa QJ Motor SRK 350. It's possible na pareho lang yung pinagkunan nila ng parts. Since mostly shared parts naman talaga ang karamihan sa mga motor na gawa sa China. Kasi iisang one-stop shop na lugar lang naman ang malaking pagawaan ng motor dyan. Maswerte tayo this time na naka full color TFT display na siya. Na, merong dalawang power mode. A Sport and Echo At syempre a Smartphone Connectivity Makikita din natin dito ang improvements niya sa Triple Tree Clamp At masasabi kong mas premium looking na siya ngayon But I think the inverted forks and swing arm suspension could still be the same as the last gen Pero okay lang yan Dahil 
upgraded naman ang kanyang brake system with their own Vogue branding. And it's a readily mounted 4 piece and caliper single disc brake set up. Dude, that's actually pretty decent. Considering this is an entry level sport bike, Sherpa like its other Chinese counterparts, komo na sa kanila ang standard dual channel ABS. At sa mas maliit at mas magaang makina, nakikita ko dito ang bagong chassis or possible din na nagkaroon lang ng redesign. Kung hindi mo pa alam, dude, maganda ang reputasyon ng Lonsen sa kanilang mga makina. At isa sa pinaka highlights ng T50 R is its engine. Again. Ito yung pinagmamalaki ng Vodge na pinakamalakas daw na motor in its category. Pero dun lang daw sa kanila. And as of right now, well, yes. With its peak power of 29 HP and a 23 Nm of peak torque. Kasi lakas na ito ng current 300cc Vodge 300 double R. And that's coming from a 250cc single cylinder single overhead cam 4 valves liquid cold engine. Idagdag mo pa itong power to rate ratio niya na meron lang timbang na 147 kg. Halos kasi bigat na lang yan ng R15 V4 na nasa 142 kg. So expect a very sharp handling from this bike. But yet the most impressive thing about this bike my dude is guess what? It's price. This bike my dude is actually mas mura pa sa lahat ng premium 150cc na meron tayo sa Pinas. Mas mura pa siya kay R15 and even kay MT15. As for the actual price reveal is just around 19,980 CNY. And in the Pelopen money, that's roughly translate to around 154,000 pesos. Mm, it's spicy metabol. But, ano sa tingin nyo, my dudes? Sa tingin ko naman, it definitely has a unique place in the market, especially on what it offers. Isa na naman ito sa magpapatas at lalo pang magpapaganda ng standard sa market natin. Like I said, ang pinaka main selling point ng Lonsit ay hindi lang sa bagong feature or design ng bagong motor nila. Most of their investment and development ay nakatoon sa makina nila. At isa yan sa mga rason kung why, bakit? Nakikita natin ang makina nila kahit sa ibang motorcycle brands. Well, that's great and all, but maging available kaya ito sa Pinas? Well, my dude said to say na wala sa akin ang power to make that decision. Pero as for my own personal opinion, why not Pognet? Gaya ng sabi ko, fresh na fresh pa sa market natin ang 300 double R, but in order to compete with the likes of Safe Moto 300 SR and the upcoming Fecon 3 GP, hindi ko na kailangan i-emphasize pa na kailangan ng Vogue Philippines ng mas competitive na model. In order to appeal sa mga mata ng mga mapagkutsang Chinese brand haters. And just one more thing I may add my dude is, ang 250 double R na ba ang papalit sa 300cc variant? Well, that's a yes and no. Yes, kasi in terms of power and technological advancement, they are now practically identical in terms of power. But no. Kasi may plano na ang Vodge Motorcycle sa lineup na kanilang upcoming units in the future. As expected, ito yung 350 and 500cc sport bike category. Basically, we can expect a full fared version of the 350AC and the 525R in the next update. Kung gusto nyo pa ng dedicated 350AC and 525R video, comment nyo na lang yan sa baba. Kasi meron pa kong iba pang gustong ipakailala sa inyo. Gaya na itong next featured bike natin na kasabay din na launch ng Vodge. These are the Call of 321 R and a new Potential Rusi 400 Sport Bike from Zongshan Cyclone Series, DRC3S. Click nyo na lang sa screen nyo ngayon kung available na siya, but try mo muna mag-subscribe sa channel para ma-notified ka sa ating next uploads.